you know, considered one of your best works, uh, you know, came from a deep place within. We're talking, of course, about the gang rape of Jyoti Singh. I name her with the permission of her mother, but it says something about sexual violence and how we look at it that, that we don't name uh, the victim, in this case, the victim and not the survivor because she was killed. Um, you know, and you then spoke about how you felt your own silence in the past with everything you had experienced personally and you felt you should have you should have spoken. I think so many of us carry that almost guilt of our own silence. Yeah, yeah. The you know it was kind of. Uh, I, I I think everyone has their road to Damascus moment uh, mm. in in their in their lifetime, and I think that was definitely mine. It was this. In, in, you know when when and, and Bark, I still remember your uh, your reporting from that time, which was so. Um, it just really carried us forward into into the next phase, but it was the insight that my silence uh, around sexual violence made me complicit in, uh, around what had happened on that bus that night. That our silences create the fabric by which sexual violence can continue, um, and so the, the 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 insight was: well, if I break my silence. What will it do to sexual violence? Will it will it start unraveling, and will it will it perhaps put an end to sexual violence if we shift the shame from the survivor onto the perpetrator, where it rightly belongs? What will happen in that equation? So that was what um, Yael Farber, who directed the play, really set out to do. And as you know, it has five women, including me, on stage who share their real stories of uh, sexual violence and gender-based violence and survival. And you know, every night, I, 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 I mean, especially in, in India, which was, we opened to a thousand seat theater, the, um, uh, and it was, a, it was, it was on, on Holi a couple of years ago. And every night in every country around the world, in every city, uh, there would be hundreds of people who got up from their seat and broke their silence a lot of time for the first, you know, for the first time in their own lives. And so, it was, you know, what, what, uh, looking back, it was the beginning of the, the Me Too movement, the power of the Me Too movement. If you speak your own truth, if you, you know, and I often say Nirbhaya is not watched, it's witness. When you witness someone coming forward and telling you their truth, you are called to, you're called into action. You're called into, um, you're, 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 you're called into, taking accountability for what happened. You know, the other person's story becomes somehow through osmosis your story. Um, and you're called into action to, to do something. So that was really the power of Nirbhaya, I, I feel, uh, around the world. It began conversations on 